Happy Taco Tuesday, friends. I am so glad you're here again to join me. I am here, Erica Gearing. It's me, your um, little by little leader who loves to educate and embrace wellness alongside of each of you on a day-to-day -day basis. But you haven't seen me consistently this year as much on Taco Tuesday because we've had a lot of transitioning. But I always kind of talk about it, so I won't bore you with that today. But I always jump on here to tell you first, what is my favorite Young Living product that I'm currently using? Sometimes it's an oil, sometimes it's not. But I will tell you right now, I am so glad that as we have raised our children to embrace wellness, we have taught them about the importance of keeping toxins out of our home. And with teenagers, it can be difficult and we are still struggling. But I will tell you last night, there was an aha moment when I went to the hair salon, I got my hair done, I came home and my 19 year old was like, something smells. And I was like, what is it? And he was like, I don't know. I mean, come here. And he smelled my hair and he was like, it's you, it's your hair. It must be the hair product they put on you. And I thought, hmm, that's how we feel when we smell his hair product or his um, new things that he's experimenting with as a 19 year old now having, making his own decisions. So when you're not used to it, you're not used to it. And then when it comes in, you're like, whoa, what's that? And it's like, that's not good for you. That's what he knew. So as much as I try to not have toxins put on my head, sometimes when you go to the hair salon, it happens. But anyway, the oils that I'm currently using that are my faves are Acceptance, Envision, and Abundance. You guys know that I love Abundance. And um, because there's like cinnamon in there and I like cinnamon, but that's kind of funny because as I put them on, I was like, wait a second. There's a lot of things that have happened in 2022 that I could not change. And I have to accept that that's the way they are. I can only work on myself. That's another thing. Remember, you can only help yourself, right? This is not a self-help class right now, but there are a lot of things in life that we cannot change. Um, we can't change people. Sometimes we can't change our circumstances, but we have to work on accepting us, ourselves, just the way we are and accepting our circumstances the way they are. And so I have been wearing this acceptance as my perfume. And so some of you ask, well, what does that even look like? Well, where would you put your perfume? So I put it on my wrist, I put it on my um, neck, and then sometimes I put it here or in right in between my breasts. That's the truth because that's the areas that are going to, you know, as you talk, as you move around, as you hug people, they're going to smell you, right? And you want it to smell good. Every Everybody wants to smell pretty, but you don't want to layer yourself with toxic junk that's only going to weaken your immune system and do other damage to you. So you have to be careful. Um, envision, I put, I'm using that one because I want to envision as we're setting goals for the new year, we're, um, you know, looking personally at things, um, what we are going to accomplish as a family, what we're going to accomplish in our business, what we're going to just, you know, what do we want our family to look like in 10 years? We've been talking about that a lot in our home. So envisioning, uh, what's going forward and accepting the past and accepting going forward too. So there's that and abundance. I just think I love it so much. Abundance for me means I, you know, abundant in our in a mindset, a positive mindset. So the next thing I really wanted to talk to you about, those are my three oils that I'm using right now is my point of today is to talk to you about the many products from Young Living that are for your skincare. And I don't know if you even know that there's a lot out there because sometimes we just think it's only essential oils. But the balance that they brought to us this past year, I believe, at convention, I tried it for my skin and it's just not strong enough for me at the age I am and the climate that we're in. So my daughter, is, it's really made more for the youth. So she's enjoying the balance line. Um, it's a little bit edgier in their um, decor or their marketing. So this is uh, intentional. It's more for the youth in your life. Um, but she loves it. She has not had any complaints. The art has been around the longest with Young Living, the entire art line. Um, that was one that Mary Young herself designed and she raves about. So she, this has been around forever and it will be forever because it's Mary's fave. And then Bloom. I would say for me, the Bloom line has been the best. It's come out in the past two years, maybe three. I think two though. Um, I have I use the cleanser, and then I was using the brightening um, like toner, and I actually forgot about it until I was ready to shoot the video, and I was like, "Where is my brightening? Oh my goodness, 
I haven't been using it. So I'm going to order myself some brightening um, cleanser. It's not cleanser, toner. And then this is the lotion, the daily moisturizer. And when I ran out, I was like, you know what? I'm going to switch it up. So I went to this just to try it again because new climate, new changes. I thought I'll use this one. This is not working. My skin right now looks older than it normally does because I can tell the moisturizer, it's not enough. This is a light moisturizer. Oh my gosh, that'll make this video exciting. Anyway, this light moisturizer and it's just not strong enough. So there are some intensive moisturizers that I've used in the past from Young Living um, at nighttime and I'm gonna have to go back to that. So I can't remember the name of it though. That's the funny thing. Um, I can't remember it, but I'm gonna go back to that, putting that on my face at nighttime. And then I'm just gonna have to go back to the brightening lotion, which I can tell, um, tell you it's brightening. So it helps brighten up those spots that maybe you don't want to be like showing darker. Um, that helps kind of make it all uh, blend together. So there you have it. So sorry this was longer than normal. I appreciate you guys for watching these. And of course, if you haven't subscribed yet, I would love for you to click the subscribe button. That would be amazing. And follow along in our wellness journey. We will also be adding some things to this this year in our um, flipping house life with the gearing homes. So alrighty, friends, love you. Remember, Wellness is little by little, so choose what you're going to focus on this year, and little by little, turn over those new leaves of um, searching for, like, I've always wondered about this. Little by little, you can change those things and become habits. So, love y'all. Have a great day wherever you are.